It means that signal. We need more power. We are here at Gen Con with Anton Torres from Fantasy Flight Games. Once again, Anton, thank you so much again for talking to me. Cool. Nice to see you. <laughs> and we're back by the display case and where all the big announcements come out for uh, FFG at Gen Con and where all the new stuff is displayed. So let's uh, take Going a look. Going down, we've got two products here, one after the other, that were debuting for, for demo, but, but, but not. Uh, they'll be released later this year. Game of Thrones, The Iron Throne, has been a huge hit. This is the, the, the theme is, of course, Game of Thrones, the HBO series. This is a, a game that is based on the core engine for Cosmic Encounter. Really? We were talking to Peter Olaka one day and sort of brainstorming ideas, and, and someone came up with the thought that, you know what, uh, Cosmic sounds a lot like Game of Thrones. There's uh, backstabbing, there's table talk, negotiating, and certainly betrayal. Uh, so they sort of went to the core of the, the, that system, uh, and then re-engineered it to match the setting. And I'll tell you, if, if you dig Game of Thrones or if you dig Cosmic, if you like games that are highly player interactive and where there is character death, uh, you can take hostages and torment them. And there's a lot of mind games to play. This is an awesome entry uh, to, to the tabletop. It's, it's amazingly fun. There are 25 different characters. They all have unique abilities. Uh, and there are five different houses. So. So I have to ask, uh, game length? 45 to 60 minutes. Really? Very tight. So I think uh, we, we already have a, a board game and a card game set in the uh, Game of Thrones universe. So Game of Thrones, the, the, the board game, is an epic affair. Uh, this is meant to, to sort of hit a sweet spot where you want to sit down and in an hour just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your other players and really just uh, you know, flat out lie to their face and then backstab them when they're not looking on your quest to spread your influence across the other four t houses at the table. It plays three to five players. That's super cool. It's a lot of fun. Wait, now, Game of Thrones, are, you, are people still watching that show? You know, yeah, there's, there's still a little interest? I think a few million people are, are, are checking on that pretty <laughs> regularly. Uh, and there are new people discovering it, so... so uh, uh, we'll start with Game of Thrones, Hand of the King. Hand of the King is a, is a light tile place uh, tile manipulation game. Uh, you, on each turn, you're going to take Varys, who is the sort of purple card uh, near the bottom right, and you're going to move Varys along uh, uh, either vertically or horizontally. And as you do, you're going to call out one of the houses and you'll claim all of the cards in that row uh, that you have passed over from the house. It's a game that plays very quickly and it's meant to be light in a setting that typically doesn't have light game exactly uh, some people that I've read online some people love the art some people question the art and I just think it is a uh, I, I I really dig the Game of Thrones setting but I don't always want to have the sort of the experience the, the harshness of that setting right these characters are not always murdering each other uh, so this is kind of like a, a, again a light and fast playing game uh, that you can fit in your pocket uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot of table space, and it's still very clever and interesting. It's a Bruno Catala game, uh -huh. so Bruno is a, is a clever designer. Uh, if you dig uh, Catala, you should read more about it on our website. All right, Anton, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk to me. Got it. Take care.